Greetings and welcome. Before I start my video, I want to make two quick announcements. Number one, I just started making YouTube live videos every other Wednesday morning at about 10 or 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So alongside these regular sort of recorded videos, if you look out for my intermittent YouTube lives, which are housed in a slightly different column on my channel, please keep a look out for those if you're interested. And you can always join in if you're available for the live recordings of those and get a free extemporaneous tuning and to be part of the collective that I tune into. I'd love to have you there. Also, monthly, I am offering on the second Tuesday, second or third Tuesday of every month at about 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm doing Zoom community tunes. So those are open to the public. They are global. You can tune in from anywhere if you can make that time. And they're very affordable. And again, that is a way to get to experience this work very affordably and without booking a private session. This video is about courage. Courage is a quality that is, I've been thinking a lot about lately. I have been summoning it in myself. I notice how much I cherish and honor when I see others outside of myself summoning up their courage. I think it is a quality that is kind of perennially needed. I can't ever imagine a time when a person said, wow, we just don't need any courage to be alive right now. Like, I don't think that's really a thing. And having said that, I feel as if now <laughs> we need every form and aspect of courage that a person and that a people need. I have several quotes that I wanted to begin with. Number one is one of my favorite. I'm pretty sure it's from C.S. Lewis and it's just simply courage, dear heart. Courage comes from our heart and to sort of wish someone dear heart, like courage, like I see it in you and I wish it for you. Truly courage, dear hearts. Oh. The second is sort of a paraphrase from a yoga teaching from a few weeks ago and it's reverence is the ability to hold poignancy without despair. That is why we cry when things are beautiful. That's why it takes courage to feel. It takes so much courage to actually have your experience, to be in an experience. It takes courage to love. It takes courage to honor the fear or worry that you have. It takes courage to hold ourselves. It takes courage to fully notice the complexities of anything and to hold enough space to hold all of those complexities, not just reduce it down in some easily shrink wrap packaged thing so we can either keep it or discard it. Because uh, Basically everything, when you really dive into it, is deeply nuanced. Every person, every situation, every life circumstance and the arrival thereof is a myriad of complexities that all condensed into a thing. So to call it just, oh, that was easy, or that was hard, or that's right, or that's wrong, you are truly blowing past the nuances of it all, and therein lies the richness, but it takes courage to slow down and to fully look at a thing and honor all aspects of it, every facet of a jewel. It is an act of courage. 
And then the last one uh, is a Maya Angelou quote, which I had never heard until very recently, and Tim Ferriss put it out in one of his media blasts. And the Maya Angelou quote is, without courage, we cannot practice any other virtue with consistency. We can't be kind, true, merciful, generous, or honest. Wow, I could even just weep <laughs> saying that. It is so true. Um, it takes courage to do all of those things. And to be able to do that time and again, we have to be able, and the, the sort of piston of courage in us has to be, <laughs> we can't be a court low on motor oil on for that piston to, to be able to, to move freely and for us to draw upon it every time needed. And just the very last thing before I drop into the tuning is I, I can't, Derek Sivers, maybe, I know, I was listening to some podcasts because I was thinking, you know, why did I wait until after the first of the year to make this Courage video? Because this has been coming for a minute. And because it takes courage to start things, it takes courage to start a new year, it takes courage to show up. And I was thinking about what this time of year is for many people, which is times when they have made a renewed intention or a resolution or something like that. And why is it a cliche at this point? Oh yeah, I make my resolution and it lasts about a month and then it all, you know, peters out. And my last consideration after contemplating and preparing for this video was that courage is exhausting and we don't give that credit. To even hear the word courage, it in me elicits this sort of sense of nobility. Yeah, courage sounds awesome, doesn't it? Yes, I would love to show up courageously to my life. That sounds like, you know, the motto that I'm going to get made into bumper stickers. That sounds wonderful. And it is, and it sounds quite noble, and it's a beautiful sound bite, and it's all the things. And when you show up courageously, it's terrifying and it's exhausting. <laughs> that moment when you're like, oh, I've got to show up differently and courageously and I'm gonna break a pattern or stand up for myself or you know, whatever the thing is, you know what that is? That's an oh shit moment. That's an oh, 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 how do I do this? Okay, wow. Oh, and get and that's also the moment that courage lives in. That's that moment. Okay, wow, yeah, I'm gonna probably talk some more, but let's drop into sound. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, in the tales of yore, when we write the tomes and myths and legend of courage, we forget to include that it's the oh shit moment. And I mean, not to be throwing curse words around, but that's that's what the when when you're actually in it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like the fork is like it's totally shaking in its boots. It's like oh, oh, oh. that's why that's why that's why courage sounds really noble. And that's why I think very few people would actually, like if you stood in line at the, at the grocery store and did an exit poll as just a bunch of random people left the grocery store one day, hey, do you, do you think you're super courageous? I bet not very many people would say yes. Even though I think many people truly are and many people are on the daily I think we don't experience it as such. I don't think we walk away like, yeah, man, wow, I really flexed on my courage on that. <sighs> because the sensation uh, when you're in a moment that's asking for courage is, uh, it's really uncomfortable. Yep. Uh, and that's putting it like lightly. Mm -hmm. <sighs> 
But when we can start to appropriately label those moments of <gasps> as, oh, that's a moment I deployed courage. So that's how we can foster more of it in ourselves by recognizing when it is that we are having it. Wow. Yee! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Courage. Wow, there's a lot of contraction. Mm, it's like, mm, it's like the, mm -hmm, our inner selves that, that know when we are brave. For that instant when I started talking about it, it's like we felt happy to be seen. But then the moment I, I sort of prompted us all to be able to appropriately label it so that we could um, have it, we wanted to demure. Uh, 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 uh. So, like, oh no, that's going to make me egotistical or that's going to make me big-headed, braggadocious, somebody prideful. I heard this really beautiful definition of humility recently, which is that it has to be true. To be true, actual, authentic humility. To do something well and then somebody says, oh, wow, you really did that really well. To be like, oh, no, I didn't, whatever. That's not true, right? So that's not true beautiful, qualitative humility. That's denial of reality, and it's incoherent. And so it doesn't foster coherence, and it doesn't foster trust. It takes, for those of us who are used to over-functioning, for those of us who um, have caretaking roles, dependent or codependency uh, traits, it takes a lot of courage to let someone that you care about sit in the results of their own making without trying to improve it for them. That takes a lot of courage. It doesn't take self-shaming. It takes a lot of courage and it's tiring. Sometimes to not do something is the heaviest lifting you'll do all week. <laughs> so, uh, uh, and that takes courage. That's right, that's right. To break a pattern, to not fall into your slipstream, uh, it's like a, I can see like this tube of water like wanting to push and all you want to do is let go and you know ride that pattern of anger or reactiveness or you know whatever but to stand having the courage to stand against that tide that stream and say no I'm, I'm not gonna fall into that slipstream in this moment so, so. That takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of energy. So one of the reasons why we might not stick with a thing, whether it's a resolution or an intention or a behavior pattern, a behavior change, is because I think we don't honor how cumulatively exhausted, how pooped we get from the effort of doing something different of moving that needle you think oh it's just a little tiny needle yeah it's exhausting and if you don't honor the complexity of how tiring doing something new is or doing something differently is 
then when you get pooped and when you get overwhelmed, you'll just think, oh, I don't have it in me, rather than saying, oh, I totally have it in me. I'm so courageous that just like any good warrior or any good fighter, um, I got super exhausted. I got pooped on the front line. So I just need to come off the pump line, pump front line, rest for a second. And then show right back up. Like that's not failure. That's metering my progress and being realistic and self-supportive. <laughs> wow. When you say it like that, it sounds so much better, Rebecca. Yeah. <sighs> I'm just getting all kinds of sensations around the back of my head. Uh, there is a There is a breath work practice in yoga that's called the skull shining breath and I actually, when I do that breath work, my skull feels shined in a different way, but it's funny because I'm having a skull shining experience and it's almost like a kind of a half halo around the back here. Um, I don't know what that means. I think, uh, 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 It's giving possibility to different thought patterns. I think it's also kind of, uh, I really feel like it's also informing different alarm systems for the parasympathetic nervous system. It's really letting our amygdala know when you feel alarmed, I got your back. Yeah, courage is not without alarm. Was it Brene Brown? She said, bravery is when you expect things to go well and you lean into it, but courage is truly not knowing how things are gonna do and showing up to it anyway. Like, courage. Is not unthreatening in some sort of fundamental quality. Man, you don't know how it's gonna go. If it goes poorly, this could I don't know, this could whatever. Depends on what you're being courageous about. But like deeply unsavory. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm also kind of feeling like I want to cry. like that sort of pendulum swing. Courage has in it the whole swing of, yeah, I got this, I'm gonna go, oh no, I'm terrified out of my mind. You're like, say, say, no, I can do this. You know, it's, it's, it's not just a one, it's not just a one way. It's a, it's a bit of a swing, y'all, or a roller cut, right? Or however you wanna envision that. It's not a constant, it's a undulation. It's, it's a sine wave. Um, and, and to include all parts of it. The courage isn't just the da-da, the courage is also the ah, and then the da-da. Like it's, it's both, um, it's both of those. So, there, yes. There, kind of rounded out some a little bit. Yeah, it's all of it. It is all of it. <sighs> to honor the moments when you have that sort of leading bravado and to, in the exact same measure, honor the moments when you need to retreat when you need to sort of contract back in to sort of muster your your will again to be able to then emerge anew it's the pulsing it's the it's the both that's why without courage we cannot practice any other virtue with consistency
because it, yes, it, it's not just a, we cannot be any other virtue, it's a practice. And with a the practice, there's always the cyclical ebb and flow of with all things, because otherwise it's just an always on setting, but a practice means the ability to come on and off, on and off. There. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, by really holding the complexity of all the feels that are in courage. We can make more room for the practice of courage in ourselves. And then by making more room when we move through those moments, we will be able to own them and accumulate them. For our own confidence. Confidence, I mean, it is a kind of ego, but those of you who watch this video who are familiar with the sort of downsides of ego or how ego represents, that word is used to represent any sort of upside down quality. Um, to accumulate and to give yourself credit, internal self-referent, inner referent credit for something is not ego. That is honoring, that is self-love, that is building awareness with humility because it's true. I did that thing. It was scary. I was kind of shitting my pants a little bit. I did it okay, but more than anything, I, I did the thing that I wanted to do, which was do something different or do something new or whatever your leading edge is, whatever your growth edge is. And it's by being able to give yourself intimate credit for that. That gives you that sense of achievement that then lets you be able to do that again. That's what refills the gas tank because it takes fuel to be courageous and it takes fuel to live beautifully. It takes fuel to effort well and you can't do it on empty. Nice. I'm really gonna shine into that. Shine into our cultivating courage. Mm, mm, mm. And giving ourselves credit internally and really giving ourselves credit and then receiving it and then letting that accumulate letting that credit accrue. <sighs> As a way to bolster ourselves for more. Oh. I'm gonna end with the 528 here. I'm 
really imagining. I watched a video on uh, ancient ways of making rope yesterday. It was really beautiful watching them bind all of the strands together. And these tones, I am literally like if every strand of that old tiny hemp rope could be an aspect of courage, because there are many. Courage is not just one thing. It's, it's so many, it's the ups, it's the downs, it's the fear, it's the exhilaration, it's the exhaustion, it's the fortitude. It is that bravado in a good way. It's all of those things and I'm imagining like a ball of yarn, these gossamer twines together wrapping us each so that we can be safely held in all of those qualities and live into it however each the one of us however we are called upon ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, because we all have our own different ways to show up in that so yeah yeah you're welcome oh so touching i am right here with you all I am right here with you all. Thank you. Thank you. It is an honor. Thank you. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys. Mm. Wow. Uh, visit RebeccaCorner.com if you want to book a private session or if you'd like to get in touch with me and ask questions. Uh, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I've got public events, I've got in-person events, I've got virtual events. Truly to your courageous 2024, you guys. Mm -mm -mm. Have a good one.